is hello gentlemen just a moment my glasses are dirty Yeah, I have it set to reset the chat instant, like deactivate the chat instances when they're not visible because I have like 800 different chat instances for different <laughs> scenes and sizes. The problem with that is that whenever I change scenes, the chat resets. But I didn't want to use up all that memory, I'm sure you understand. I mean, it's not like I don't have any memory to spare. It's just I, I don't like waste, you know? Nobody likes to waste memory, I'm sure. But I like the chat to look nice and fitted. Like it's meant to be there. Like it was never supposed to be anywhere else. Okay, so a couple of little steps I gotta take first. Sorry. Your windowed projector. I wish it would actually match the aspect ratio automatically. You know what? I might as well just set that option to remember projectors. I don't. If I can remember where it is. Oh yeah, save projectors on exit. I'll just I'll just do that. You know. So it'll be here next time because I, I, I pretty much do it every single time because I have it on my second monitor, which hopefully shouldn't, I mean, hopefully it doesn't wig out. But now that I've said that, it absolutely will. Ah, uh, crash is loud. Crash is, is loud. Crash has crashed into my eardrums. So let me route that. I have no idea what I had the audio set to for Crash 2. Absolutely go figure. So we're of course going to have to do some, you know, a little bit of testing to see what the best levels are. Thing. There's just not enough space for all this crud I want to <laughs> shove on the screen. Maybe I need a 4K monitor for my second one. <laughs> second monitor needs to be 4K. I don't. I don't know. Considering HP owes me a new one. They they sent me a box. Like they supposedly sent me a box to send this back. And I never got it. Never got the bot. Like they said, FedEx guy, he's going to show up. Never did. This is not muted. I. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, wait. I'm. St I'm the biggest moron that ever lived. Okay, checking, checking. Game is definitely too quiet. Uh, cable A audio. Let's set that to about nine, negative nine. See how that does this. Check, check, uh, check, check, check. Maybe a little bit louder. And I'm gonna I'm gonna write this down this time. I've learned from my past mistakes, but. That doesn't save us right now. Checking, checking. That's probably good. Yeah, so Crash 3. 
the last of the classic Clash Crash Clash Man Crash trilogy. The last one of of the classic trio. Did you ever think this day would come? You probably did. It's not that implausible. In fact, it's it's quite likely, actually. And they never made any more. Well, they only made one more in this style, to be fair, for a long time until, like, just recently. Hey, look, it's Polar from the second game. Uga Uga is free? No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. None of theirs failed the great Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice! Great Uka Uka! It was that infernal bandicoot! From deep inside my devil prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet! I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And failed! But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time, the great Uga Uga will make sure that you do it right! After many eons, my evil twin brother, Uga Uga, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Here we go again. Children, Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. So since Miles missed the uh, the intro, I'll give a brief explanation. U Aku Aku's evil twin brother, Uka Uka, has been freed due to the events of Crash 2. So he has teamed up with Cortex in order to make sure that this time, across all of time and space, they get all the crystals. However, they are joined by a new adversary. And you could probably just go back and see it in a minute, I don't know. But either way, so now we're, we're time traveling. So, Toad Village, right into it. Doesn't take too long. Crash doesn't have a ton of plot. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look! I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. There's also that. that that's also a decent recap. Okay, Toad Village. We are in medieval world. We can finally become a renaissance man. I always liked how these levels looked in the PS1 original and 
they did them justice here, in my opinion. Don't worry, that was a Cortex goat. Evil goat. So let's see, are there are there any new mechanics to talk about yet? Not that I can think of. Like most of the moves here are are the same as were in Crash 2. Oh, there's this block which cycles through different items you can get. You want to break it before too long, though, otherwise it'll turn to a metal block and you can't break it. So if you're trying to get the the gems then you don't want to let that happen. Oh. And... O OBJ ass swinger is back. Don't worry, they didn't go anywhere. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, so <clears throat> if you've seen me play Crash 2, or anybody play Crash 2 for that matter, so far it's not going to be that different. You know, things are going to progress and behave kind of much like they did in that game. There will be some differences later on, but for now, it's going to look very similar to that. And that's okay. I like Crash 2. I don't know if you guys... I don't know if you guys like Crash 2. I did. So, I'm fine with more of that. The frog. sword's pretty heavy. He can only swing it so often. A spinning goat is, is quite funny to me. Yeah, but it's a simple level. It's, it's just kind of here to get you used to it. Get you used to the systems at play. And there you go. So yeah, pretty, pretty similar to Crash 2 in terms of how things work. Oh yeah, the, the Ankh is there, you see to the right, the Relic. Uh, the, so this is Insane Trilogy, you've seen those before, but in the PS1 Originals, this was the debut of those. So, you can do a time trial. This is probably the first time I'm going to bother with the time trials in the stream, but I'm not going to do it yet, because it becomes easier. Okay, so now here's where you're going to start seeing some differences. Not Crash uh, ramming into the floor, not that. That's that's pretty much the same as always. Hang on one sec. I may miss a lot due to pub. I mean, do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do. But yeah, so here's the first big difference. Uh, this is an underwater level, you may notice. Crash didn't have those before. It's 2D because, God, how would you even do a 3D swimming level in Crash? I don't even know. So we swim. Yeah, just break that. Don't let that turn to metal. Crash can just smack a shark right into orbit. It's fine. Look, Crash is silly. Crash is silly and ridiculous, but he's no one to trifle with. 
it's, it's just there to distract you from the fact that yes, he can do major damage should he desire it. They call him Crash for a reason. And that's because that's his name. But also because of what he is capable of. I can ride this, this thing, shoot some torpedoes. I don't know if it wants me to go back to get any coral earlier in the level. I don't know, I didn't see any crates in the coral before. But these games are weird about that, so I'm not discounting the possibility entirely. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so this this side is safe. It's only the electrified side that will hurt you. Electrified side is the name of my new album, by the way. Okay, don't let the eel get you. It makes me feel eel. To even think about. The electric eel, which is not quite as cool as the electric, the static elephant, but we'll make do. Okay, good, good, good. Got the crystal. I mean, the gym. Of course, we got the crystal. Getting the crystal is not particularly difficult. And Crash is still doing that. I wish he wouldn't, but he still is. Now, this is a non-standard level. So, I might go ahead and try to do the speedrun. No, I'll give it at least one try. Oh. Crash. Coco. If you have already retrieved a Levels Crystal, then you will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. This floating clock activates time trial mode. Grab it, and the clock will start ticking. Race for the end to get the best time, but beware. Some elements will change. <laughs> that's so... that's so ominous. That's such an ominous description of time trial mode. Okay, so we just, we want to speed through the level as fast as possible. Oh, I missed that crate. Oh, God. Kick fast is not as fast as spinning, though. So I think I still want to spin whenever possible. I don't think I actually want to get on that. I think I just want to keep spinning. Okay, there's there is there are some time clocks in there. But hopefully I can make up for that with the time I save spinning. Ah oh, crap, I could have I could have swooshed over there. How did I take damage? Oh crap. I don't know if I'm going to get a gold or anything, but... Okay, what what sort of time did I get? Okay, I got like a... basically a bronze time. And we'll try to get the golds later. But this will do for now. This might end up being a longer playthrough than Crash 1 or 2 because of that. Because not only do we have the gems to get, we have the relics. I 
I don't know. Maybe I won't bother with the rest of them until I actually beat the game for the first time. But yeah, uh, you, you maybe have noticed a trend, or you will, with this level. Well, okay, this is kind of just the uh, ride levels that are back. But yeah, Crash 3 kind of has a higher concentration of gimmick levels than 1 and 2. A point of contention when discussing the series. Oh crap, crap, I missed it. Mi nope, nope. Nope, did not count. Did not, did not. That one wasn't canon. And I think this is the first time where you play as Coco for real. Like, the remakes added the ability to play as her. But I think this was the first time in the original trilogy you technically did. We want to get the gems. Or at least give it the old, the old college try. Okay, there we go. So you can jump up here. I didn't actually want to do that though, because there's no crates up there. I'll admit, uh, the tiger that I forget the name of moves a little bit more sluggishly than Polar and the pig did. Just a little bit. <laughs> I fell. I, I fell. No! No! <laughs> See, this is the real wall right here. If anybody can understand that reference, you get a, you get a cookie. Metaphorically, of course. I'm not actually going to bake for you. You understand. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So this is this is a jape. This is a jape wall. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, doing good, doing good. Okay, so we don't want to hit that guy. We want to go down below and get the crates. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Oh, we made it. Oh. I wonder if those duders had funny object names. Probably. Yeah, I've decided, actually, that I'm not going to bother with the speed runs right away. I'll, I'll leave that for like the second or third loop around. Boneyard. Chopper. 
Oh, I think I know what kind of level this is. Okay, so standard platforming. We haven't seen that in a little bit. Yeah, so it's one of these levels. Except instead of a boulder, we have a dinosaur. Triceratops. Uh, look at these reflections. That's what the PC version's for, baby. Got that, got that graphics card, you know. Oh. Ow. Should've did a high jump. Okay, no mask. Don't, do not get an aqua. Do not get an Aku Aku. Just cla casually flexing his RTX. Well, I think it's technically been outdated already. Like they, I, I'm not sure. They released that new card that I know everybody was going crazy about, but maybe that's just for the price to performance ratio. I don't know. It is nice, though. If only there were more, like, platformers like this to play with it. Because I'm, I'm not crazy about, you know, the the new FPS game. Like, I'm not... You know, I'm not a Call of Duty man or anything like that. Oh. Oh, it's the, it's the Cloakman. Okay, so we need the red gem for this, so we don't really need to bother. Unless that's a separate path, I don't I don't know. I kind of wish I knew. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh, uh, but yeah. I mean, I don't know. There, I feel like there there aren't as many games for a fellow like me to sink his graphical teeth into. But I mean, I'm also not super concerned about graphics most of the time. <laughs> yeah, so technically it's already been outdated by by whatever that is. But I, I don't think I'll upgrade just yet. I haven't had much of a reason to. Uh, 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 let me die. Let me become one with the bones. Yeah, I haven't had much of a reason to upgrade. This 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 one's still doing me fine. I mean, it's only a year old. This one, so I, I wouldn't want to upgrade yet anyway. I mean, maybe if I was doing like VR or something. Maybe then I'd have more more of a use for it, where I have to render two screens of game. But yeah, it, it, as Miles is saying, I I'm pretty good on most else right now. Like I'm able to run most games I've tried at 144 even. So I I think I'm good. I think I'm good for now. Um, it's something to keep in mind though. You know, one day. That's the good thing about having my own PC built at this point, is that, you know, if, if it's just, if it's not doing me anymore, you know, if the graphics are, well, not like that, not, not, not in a dirty way, but if it's not like, you know, serving its purpose as well as it used to, you know, I can just, I can just get the, a new graphics card, stick that in there, and in most cases, it, it, it'll work, you know, it'll, as long as I still have the PCIe slots to support it. And I mean, heck, even then you can just get like a new motherboard and transplant most of the <laughs> components, I assume. I mean, I don't know. Processor may or may not prove troublesome. But I feel like most, <clears throat> most other things would be pretty trivial to move over to a new setup. I, I once heard somebody say that once you build your own computer, you kind of stop buying computers, you just start buying components. You just keep upgrading. 
Oh, and nitro. Don't want the nitro. I mean... But I mean, really, the graphics card is the most expensive thing. Let's be real. That, it'll probably cost you, you know, several hundred dollars. I think as I, I am... I, I am chugging the suck juice tonight. Like the bad at video games. Powder, powder that makes you bad at video games. I'm just pouring that right into my oversized jaw. But, like I said, point is, point is I don't have to think about that yet. As, you know, my processor and my PCIe ports are all, are all doing me still just, just fine. I did not. <laughs> Everything's cool. Computer's cool. You know, no, no upgrade currently required. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Much as I wish there was a bridge to cross here for Crash, so I wouldn't keep jumping into lava pits. I It is too early in the game for me to be having this much trouble. It is too early in the game. I mean, Crash, Crash isn't an easy game, but it's not supposed to be this hard yet. Oh, uh, do you see that? I barely made that. Can I blame? Can I blame Insane Trilogy? Can I blame? Can I blame? Oh, I actually did get the crystal. So yeah. So no, the the gym. The crystal's the purple one. But but yeah. So the the other gym is what I need the colored gym for. So so it's not It doesn't necessarily mean that you're out of luck getting a gym. You can still get something. Oh, he still does it. I, I, I got. I have to do that. I have to do the crash dance before this stream is over. And by that I mean like you know, Crash Three as a whole, not this particular stream. But I got to do it at least once before it's over. I promised, and I forgot to do it for Crash Two. Oh no. I don't. I don't like. I don't like this level. Yeah, Coco on a jet ski. <laughs> I am not looking forward to this. Wave race 64, yep. And you still gotta break crates even on a hover bike, on a jet ski. But hey, we get big cartoon bombs, so that's that's nice. Got that going for us. Yeah, more like wave crates. Oh, yep, missed the crate. <laughs> this is what we're in for. I've heard they've made this slightly worse in the remake. And it wasn't good to begin with. It was already bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, this is what I think about when I think about Crash 3. I think about... <laughs> wave race levels yeah so yeah crash 3 has kind of a, a thing about gimmicks you know oh! so it has many more gimmick levels than both of its predecessors for better or worse
It's kind of it's kind of a problem a lot of games of this era had. And I, I remember talking about it in a YouTube comment section. Yes, yes, sometimes sometimes there are actual conversations in a YouTube con con drama, convict section. Don't, why'd I do that? I knew that's how that was gonna end. The YouTube convict section is more accurate for most of them. But but yeah. I don't know, a lot of games of this era, I think, felt the need to justify their value. So a lot of them would do this by having a bunch of different gameplay styles so that they could say the games were, oh, I don't know, so many games in one. You know? I think Sonic Adventure was guilty of this. Sonic Adventure, Sonic games in general, felt like they had to have a bunch of different gameplay styles in order to justify their value, like... And I mean, I understand, you gotta... You gotta make your game stand out, you gotta make it appealing to the buyer. Hello, Copperama. Wow, somebody actually using YouTube. I, I turned off the YouTube uh, viewer counter because it doesn't seem to be working. Hopefully Streamlabs fixes that, but my experience with it was not good. Anyway, hello, either way. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. A lot of games of that era, is what, what I'm saying is a lot of games of that era had a lot of gimmick levels because they felt like it made the game more valuable. It made the game more worthwhile. Because they, you know, you could get more out of it. You know? It's like you, you had to pay 50 bucks for a game or something, maybe even 70, I don't know. Game prices are all over the place, but a decent chunk. You wanted, you wanted your game to feel like it was worth the money. However, the style of game design has not aged particularly well. And, and as a result, a lot of games from this era are kind of looked back, look back on less than fondly because of it. I mean, maybe it doesn't ruin the game, but it maybe makes it a bit of a harder sell nowadays. Because, because now, if you'll pardon my French, most people nowadays, like in the modern gaming climate, when games are generally cheaper to purchase, I guess, but not always. But most people prefer that a game whole asses one thing instead of half asses a bunch of different things. Anyway, we're gonna fight Tiny now. Tiny Tiger. Sometimes he attacks too aggressively. Ah yes, Emperor Cortex is here. And the crowd's filled with the, the asses. Okay, look, I'm sorry. If, if anybody actually like values me being family friendly in this, the problem is I just, I find the ass joke too funny. So, you can expect that, if nothing else. I think there's a one-up trick with these tigers. Like, I think if you hit enough of these tigers, you can get a one-up. And that's, like, a good way to farm in this game. But I don't know it. But yeah, either way, expect Crash to probably be rated at least PG-13. It is probably not remotely as funny as I find it. Well, I mean, humor is subjective. And I find it funny, and you find it funny, so... I think this... Th there was a part in this that sounded like the, that one Nostalgia Critic song. Okay, so here's the main difference from Crash 2. At the, after beating any boss, 
<laughs> they're, they're throwing tomatoes at him, poor guy. But at the end of every boss, you get an upgrade. That's, that's the big different from cra difference from Crash 2. The big difference. Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. Yeah, it's a bit of a remnant from the original game. Because back, you know, in the original, you had to go over here to save. Hey, Coco. Do you want her to join your adventure? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they just, they ask you. It, she's not even that different, you know? No, no, don't, don't leave Coco at the computer. Yeah, but you had to go over here to save. That's why there's this giant screen here. Pardon me, but now you just do this. Now you just do that. I probably saved like four times in the past 10 seconds, but whatever. You know what, we got Coco. Let's play as Coco a little bit. Switch out to Coco. Wizard time. Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. This wood thing looks like a Halo 2 brute. That would be Uka Uka, the evil mask. I mean, I guess Coco's a little floatier than Crash is. Just a little bit. Yeah, so now we got the we, we got the big slam. Which is a little underwhelming as far as upgrades go. <laughs> that is a very simple name. I'll be sure not to remember it. Well, I mean, if you can remember this guy's name, uh, just remember that it's his name backwards. <laughs> because of course it is. Oh, there's the wizard. The aforementioned wizard is here. OBJ ass wizard. <laughs> Disclaimer, not actual name of object, probably. I don't actually know. But yeah, I, I really like the medieval levels in this game, though. Like, I, I'll probably dunk on this game a little bit more than the other two because of the gimmick levels. <laughs> but, but it has a lot going for it. Petition to go back in time and make that the internal object name. Well, I mean, this is a game about time travel. Maybe we can do that before we defeat Cortex. Oh, ooh. Did, did that not do damage to me? I can't tell if that did damage. I don't think it did. The medieval stank water. I mean, this was medieval times. The, you know that they were just like pooping in the streets. Did you spin the orb? Is that a thing you can do? P possibly. I don't know. You can stand on this wall, though, which serves absolutely no gameplay purpose whatsoever. Let's see. Yes, orb can be spun. I have killed the wizard. Ten out of ten games for spinning goats alone. Yeah, I know, man. I love it. It's so hilarious looking. <laughs> Gotta give props to Coco for doing all of this while holding a computer, holding a laptop. 
which I can only assume still functions after the level is done. Then again, it does look like one of those Barbie laptops. They probably build those out of Nintendium. <laughs> they build it out of the Tonka material. Guys, what if we what if we made like a, a Game Boy? We got a Game Boy. We got a Nokia flip phone, and we got a Tonka truck, and we like melted them down, and then like merged them into a new object. Absolutely indestructible object. Like like look, we do that. And then, right, right, we coat the earth, we coat the earth in that stuff. Right, we, we create an outer, an outer crust of the earth made out of melted down Game Boys, Nokia phones, and Tonka trucks. And then we, we never have to worry about anything hitting the earth. Like giant asteroid. Yeah, yeah, good luck getting past the Tonka. You had a Tonka game for the Windows PC, and there's this attachment for your keyboard where you could physically do workshop things, or the child equivalent of that. Oh, that's cute. I like that. It reminds me of, like, those, uh... Like, that Millennium Falcon attachment for the keyboard, and it was really stupid and, and impractical. But, like, you put- you move Han Solo around to push the keyboard. This is where I saw my very first illegal operation. Yeah, not not built as strong as the actual toys, unfortunately. Anyway, welcome to Agrabah. I I feel like these are Crash's <laughs> footsteps, not and not hers. I I don't think they thought about that. Anyway, Arabian Nights. They're like Arabian Days. More often than not, they're hotter than hot, in a bunch of good ways. Personally, I, I would not agree with that. I don't... I, I don't like hot. I don't like hot places. Sorry, sorry, sorry there, Arabs. But I'm just, I'm not crazy about that. I will not be visiting your country anytime soon if this is the case. Nothing personal. I'm just fat and, and easily warmed. So yeah, we got more of the, the great climbing, except instead of robots, we got scorpions. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta hurry and break this. I gotta hurry and break that. Oh, hey, look, it's an ass with a beard. Okay, bonus. Bonus time. Oh. Oh, crap. I hope I, hope I did not ruin my life there. I don't think so. I think it's okay. Oh, th this is a oh no! That one, that one's a puzzle one. You want to wait for the TNT so you can hit the block below. Except I messed up the timing and I didn't hit the TNT. Fortunately, the game does not care and lets you retry as many times as you wish. Okay, that's what you're actually supposed to do. I think, probably. Man, these... 
these games are just are so fun. I, I can't wait for Crash 3 to or Crash 4 to come to PC. Oh, hopefully it does. We've seen evidence that it will. But hopefully it doesn't take too long because I, I can't wait to play that. It's been a while since I've got some totally new Crash action. Some Craction. And I, the reviews have made me very happy. I, I haven't looked at gameplay because I don't want to be spoiled. But the reviews have been around in the 8 or 9 range. And I, I'm so happy that it's good. What, what, can, what can I say? I, I like good video games. I, I like good video games existing. And it makes me happy when they do. And I'm also happy to hear that it sort of follows this style of gameplay. Which I mean, oh, you see that back there? I see that. I mean, I have nothing against the other games, but this this was always Crash to me. Like, Twin Sanity was good. But, you know, it's just it just was never quite the same in my eyes. I'll probably stream Twin Sanity one day. I, I think that's probably a different path, like I warp in from somewhere else. Twin Sanity is really funny though. It's a very, it's a very humorous game. M some might argue maybe a little too much. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, these games are pretty funny. They're not in your face about it, but <laughs> there is something pretty, pretty funny about watching Crash's sues. I, I cannot speak ever. Watching his shoes fly up into the air when you fall into a pit, especially when you create some kind of temporal paradox. <laughs> you, when you begin to question the nature of death and whether or not you are playing as the original Crash. Yeah, she isn't allowed to go into this level. Like, some levels Coco is only allowed to go into. This one only Crash is allowed to go into. Because we're going to ride a motorbike. He's the sheriff. Okay. Still got to bust crates, though. Let's see if I can do it on the first run. I may have to do multiple runs of these levels because it's not the easiest thing in the world to do every single objective. Oh, yeah, like right there. Right there I got knocked off the road and missed the crates. So now... Now this is just about the race. Hang on, let me, uh, let me get my nose real quick. Why, hello, Telnalore. And, and yes, they kind of are. At least they have a really fun aesthetic, though. Yeah, so if you want to get the crystal, you gotta win the race. Just win the race. So you want to hold on to these boosts as long as possible. Okay, so I did not win the race. I have accomplished literally nothing. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Restart level, yes. Okay, I guess first thing we should do is win the race. Then we can focus on the crates. These, these two do not have to be achieved at the same time. If you want to get the crates and just throw the race, that's a valid strategy. But it's often not practical to do both at once. Yeah, problem is when you got the boost, turning is not so easy. Yeah, so right now we're in America. We're in the American desert. Probably in Nevada somewhere.
engine selling gas. I wonder what his prices are. Yeah, so if you can keep if you can keep this boost going. Oh dear. I hope that didn't mess me up. Nope, it didn't. I won. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so crystal is obtained. That's the big thing. The gems we can we can do on our own time. We can we can take it slow. You know, to save time on the animation, let's just switch to crash. Coco got her time in the spotlight, but it is his game after all. Good day, mate. Dingle Dial's the name. And Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystals to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. You can play as that guy in the new game. He's a very he's a very popular character, I believe. Okay, so yeah, you don't you don't have to actually win the race or anything. You can just you can as long as you get the crates, you're good. So we can take it nice and slow. Sounds like the penguin from the Arkham series games. I guess it's Australian. I guess he is from Australia. Okay, so that guy, a little too close for my liking. Gonna let him, gonna let him, he's very slow. He's, <laughs> he's got a lemon. Got a bit of a lemon. Nah, mate, you go right ahead. I'm in no hurry. Just keeping an eye out for the crates. And yeah, there actually is a gas station right there. It's not just a sign. <laughs> Dingo's Diner. Oh, wait. Yeah, in, in Crash 4, he's actually running that. Wow, that's some continuity I, I would not have expected. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. We didn't win the battle, but we won the war. Yeah, so it's neat they actually look to... They actually look to these like little background elements for his backstory in the fourth game. That's, that's nice. I appreciate that. But I also I always like some good continuity. You know, it doesn't take it doesn't take a lot to impress me. I, I don't think I'm I'm hard to impress. Okay, so what's this? Oh, that's that's the hog ride. Okay, like I said, we'll do the time trial later. Tomb time. Isn't that like Gex's catchphrase? Okay, so purple gem. We need to get that somewhere. I, I like this song. Also, <laughs> pay good attention to the hieroglyphs because they're funny. They're funny. Oh. <laughs> I am dead. I'm not used to not having the run, the dash anymore. Kind of wish I still had it, but... Spoilers, we'll get it back eventually. But we gotta be patient. Oh, stanky tomb water. Oh, you get it? You get it? There's a dog. You know, because the Egyptians usually had, like, cats. But there's a dog, you get it? Funny. This might be oil. I don't know. Either oil or stanky tomb water. One of, one of the two. Neo. These are probably gonna fall, yep. Yep, we're falling.
I like what they did with the arrangement for this track. Come on, land on the TNT. Okay. Okay. Park here. Oh yeah, that's that's the that's the tricky bit. You gotta realize that you can do that, and otherwise you might be like, "Oh, where's my last crate? Where is it? It's right over there. It's right there." Now let me dance. You may think that's not a dance. It is. It's the Running Man. But yeah, speed run. The reason I'm not doing the speed runs is it's just because it's it becomes a lot easier once you get all the upgrades. That's punish the monkey. Punish the monkey. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah. It's probably supposed to be oil because you look, look at the black splotches. Nope. Now I am in control of the blocks. Oh, there's like a booby trap here. Oh. <laughs> a booby trap I have completely failed to navigate. Wonderful. Okay, so that's the... This is the route for like the purple gym. If you got a purple gym, you can go that way. A purple James will also suffice, but you're on thin ice, buddy. That's not to say there's any ice around here. There's really not. Okay, I, I think I can navigate this one. Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Okay, so this is this is tricky because you got to use the blocks. You got to use the blocks to get the crate. I must befriend my enemy to get what it is I desire. And now that I'm done with my enemy, he must die. That's just how it is. So this is where the past merge back up. Ooh, gotta do some last minute platforming. They tell you not to wait till the last minute. Yeah, can't get that yet. They tell you not to wait till the last minute, because otherwise you're gonna have to deal with the crowds. But, you know, sometimes you, you just can't help it. Sometimes you just have to do what you gotta do. So I think that was nine. Yeah, so ten. We gotta do ten now. Oh, it's another running level. Another tiger run. Holding run lets Pura smash through certain hazards. Okay, first, is there anything back here? Uh, apparently not. Oh, that, that's a loud sound effect. Okay, so don't wanna, oh, I messed up. Death becomes me. No, we wanna, we wanna go on the bottom route because that's the one that has the chests, the crates. Same thing, same same purpose, really. Oh, there's some, <laughs> there's some lighting effects. Oh, dragon. You can't be dragging your feet here or else you're gonna have a bad time.
I usually don't make as many puns as I am tonight, but you know what? We just gotta relish it. Well, okay. I mean, usually I'm not trying to make this many puns. Can you even describe this as a pun? <laughs> the duality of man in the chat right now. Now I did too good. I made the jump too well. And I missed the crate completely. Okay, come on. There we go. My crate expectations have been met. At long last. Oh, oh! Non-standard, non-standard dragon. Yeah, this is the, this cat is kind of aggressively adorable. Ooh, okay. We gotta do some shoe moving. <laughs> What was that? What was that? Did I, I- I feel like I hit the kite and hovered over it. Hovered over it. Okay, so again, do not go up. Up is the direction of fools. Avoid all kung fu men. For they will lead you astray. But finally, our mission is done. Can I jump on you? Nope. Unlike polar bear, jumping on cat is specifically pro prohibited. They just couldn't bring themselves to let you. Okay, bring Crash back for the battle. The endless battle of attrition. You know, whatever that means. Bingo dial. That's what it means. Right. Now you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. <laughs> Break out the butter. I, this is one that is remembered by many. Oh. oh, I have been sizzled. I am golden brown. Gotta dodge that this, this time. Oh, 
that didn't seem right. You looked further away from that flame. Oh well. He's gone mad! Okay, there we go. Alright, so we got a double jump now. So that, that is good. That will prove helpful, I'm sure. Unfortunately, it's a little restrictive. If you've already begun your downward descent, it won't let you double jump. It's only on the way up. So you gotta press it at the apex of your jump. But it's something. Dynamite. Haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trophy, master of time and the creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade, so you won't be leaving my area with the crystals, I swear it! Okay, so we need a yellow gem for this level. I like Entropy, he's cool. I'm glad he's indeed back for the new game. Oh look, look it is my evolutionary predecessor. I'm sure that won't have any effect on the timeline. Remember the time I could double jump and crash Bandicoot? Yes, yeah, right now. Oh, that was a Peter, that was a Peter thing. Oh. Oh, it's the Cloakman. Still don't know what he's all about yet. That's where you need the yeller. Oh, here's a, here's a neat thing. A uh, dinosaur. We we are as one. He is unencumbered by many things. He can smash crates just like a breeze. Is the historic crash's spin supposed to be silent? I don't think so. Let me if I see another one, let me let me know. You guys have been hearing other sound effects, right? Like like this? And like the crates getting smashed? Yes. Okay, ever since I had that technical problem with Sonic Adventure not being routed correctly, I have become a little afraid. Sounds like they didn't give it a sound effect. I think there's one. Like I said, I'll have to find another one though to verify. Oh, there's a little taste of what we're in for. Oh yeah, that's right, we have the super, the super crush. 
Uh, but we can't use it with a double jump, unfortunately. Well, but it does have it does have a pretty wide range of effect, I will say. Up oh, and here's a here's a little sign saying, "Hey, mate, use your double jump, or use your use your pound." Actually, no, use your pound, not the double jump. Double jump can go to hell. Don't use the double jump. Don't need it. Don't even need it. Okay, here we go. Dinosaur running. Okay, I did not get the, the crystal though, but I think I know of a secret in this level. And I'm going to get it. Which one was it? I already forgot. No, no. Is this one? No, is the first one. Oh, that, that level has the red gem, by the way. We'll, we'll get to see if the the fish has a sound effect. I'll tell you if I if I hear it. Mm, pardon me. Oh, yeah, it does have a sound effect. It's just very low. Like, listen. It's just like a very low, floppy sound. Okay, so I need to get back to the dinosaur chase. I think this is the level that the secret I'm thinking of is in. the noises the dinosaur is making whatever I guess it just came out of an egg I can't be too hard on it just ch child immediately stolen oh cool we're dropping a little bit of frame just a little bit just gonna drop a couple frames Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Oh, okay, um, I think... I don't... I think I can have Aku Aku. I think you effectively have to die to this pterodactyl. No? No? Uh, I must be thinking of something else then. Was there any, were there any others around here? That I could maybe die to get a secret. Oh, okay. Okay, burn my butt once again. So that one, that one, 
Then there's once the fruit leads you, there's like a two two over there. There's one that's kind of out of the way. That's what I remember. There's a pterodactyl that's kind of out of the way. No? And well, I guess if I'm missing something, I'll try again later. Also, uh, I need to take a break for a minute. I'll be right back. Let me just let me just throw you some music on. Where's a uh, oh, I closed food bar.
Sorry if it stuck you with a crappy song. <laughs> crappy song. I just leave FUBAR on autopilot. Don't blame me. Blame FUBAR. Blame it for having bad taste in music. Marble Madness, though. You can, you can blame me for that. I did that. <laughs> Hello. Hello once again. Just, uh... Yo, know, wanted to take a minute to stretch my legs. Get, like, a quick little snack just something to sort of tide me over so that I didn't feel so hungry well I don't know what we're doing with that level so let's do this level backtrack to find the special gym I feel like that that hint might be a little too overt But okay, not this way. But we do have torpedoes. The underwater levels do have a nice atmosphere to them, I will say. Sounds very mysterious. Okay, probably gonna get some eels. Yep. Escalators! I have been dragged into the hole. The eel hole. It's not a good place to be. Oh, well, I'm glad I went down there because I think I missed that crate the first time. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a... Uh... Third tries the charm. No! I need it. I need it. I need the apparatus, whatever the heck this thing is supposed to be. I'm not sure the designers knew. Oh, pardon me again. Okay, can Dustin make it past this one eel? Hurrah, he did it. He did it. There's a brain cell left. That there's hope yet. Okay, the does that does that hurt or did the shark hurt me? I don't like this. I don't like this situation I'm in. Okay, good. I haven't seen any place where the hint I was given would be relevant. Backtrack to find the gym. Ah, oh, yeah, prob probably about this. Yeah, I don't know. Hint probably still too overt.
Okay, don't get don't get sucked. Okay, so I can't take this through the tubes. That's what I've learned so far. So I probably don't want to backtrack like that. I mean, I can take it through the big tube here, but not like the little tube. This thing is kind of odd to control. Like, not, not too much. Like, not obnoxiously, but just enough to where I'm like, hey. Hmm. It's a peculiar experience. Oh no! Okay, so backtrack. Okay, this was the end of the level anyway. But backtrack to get the gym. Okay, that does hurt you. It's nice to have confirmation, either way. But you backtrack for the special gym. So you hit the switch and then you come back and there's now a crate revealed. I just wish I didn't have to go through all this nonsense, but what can you do? I don't like the, the suck fans. No! Did I need that? Did I, did I need that? Okay, I did not need it. God! How do you get through it? Do you, can you can you spin attack through that? I don't like it. No, no, no. No, no! <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, yes. You can, you can brute force it. Maybe not. <laughs> I... I am struggling to understand the rules of reality, the rules of nature. Bandicoots with their lives on the line. Can I destroy them? It would be wonderful if I could destroy them. Nope. Nope. God has not smiled upon me today. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I can do that? <laughs> I can do that with those? I just need to make it back. I just need to make it back. Just the one time. So, like, where in time is this supposed to be? Like, the, the game's whole thing is time? Is this, like, prehistoric water? No, I mean, it can't be because there's, like, these huge metal structures. Right? Okay, these crates have not quite fallen, but whatever. Oh, checkpoint. Thank God for that. <laughs> okay, I'm at least happy to see that death animation. Okay, don't touch the nitro.
Contrary to popular belief, the nitro is bad. Mmm. Mmm, video games. This is a stressful area. <laughs> Dang it. Thought I was good. Thought I was good. Okay, now I'm just getting now I'm just getting careless. Oh, here comes the pity mask. God, <laughs> why am I bad? Why am I bad? of sheer raw pity. I'm, I'm booking it. I'm booking it. <laughs> I didn't get any prizes from that, but it sure is wild how I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no! God! <laughs> I... I don't... I don't like the underwater levels. I've decided that now. Would not rate levels highly. Oh, uh, we get the double. We get the double bubble. The double prize. Okay, let me just save after that one. I want to do that again. Oh, the purple gem is in here. So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do. At the, okay, so at the end of the death route, so I have to not die. Oh yeah, this is another thing that I think about when I think about Crash 3, this level. I don't know why, just this part. This part at the beginning here. There's nothing even wrong with it, it's just, I don't know. It's not even that memorable. Did the water level have a good end? Yes. We got the double prize. Got our first colored gem of the run. And we're probably gonna get another one here. Oh, monkey. Oh, and there's the ass burners.
I I wasn't sure what happened for a second there. Okay, so we're just, we're not allowed to die. There we go, there's a use for our double jump. That doesn't count as a death, though. I don't think. Oh, right, I have a double jump. <laughs> I was trying to get up here like the old-fashioned way like I was doing the I was doing like the, the, this number <laughs> Just I just used it But if crash made a splash in the bath You know That's a question. I haven't really considered before I'll be sure to ponder it in my sleep tonight Okay, crystal. You can also just do that. <laughs> okay, death path. There we go, made it. We're good. I think once you touch it, you're good. Like, you can do whatever you want. Now for the hard game. Hard challenges. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Where is this? Okay, it's right here. Oh. Oh, and there we go. Second colored gem of the run. So that's good. Still gotta go back and get the regular one though. <laughs> one gem is not enough, I must have more. <clears throat> Dustin finally shaved, yes. Also, hello. Sometimes I just don't bother, but sometimes I do. I don't know, I like having a little bit of facial hair, like just a tiny bit. Just like a little bit of stubble. The problem is maintaining it at that level is kind of a pain in the butt. So half the time, just out of pure laziness, I just go for the clean face. The baby face. Problem is, you, you got too much ear. Too much ear. 
I don't know. My brain is deteriorating. But you have too much hair. And it, it, I don't know, after a while it starts to get itchy, you know, and I... Yeah, I, I did the same. Like, I wanted to know how long it got, but it just it eventually gets itchy and it's just kind of uncomfortable when I'm trying, trying to sleep. And like I said, I just, I just want like a thin layer, but I can't keep it there. I, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I mean, is there some kind of thing you put on your razor? I don't know, I, I tend to use an electric razor because I don't want to go through all that, you know, mess with... <laughs> all that mess with, you know, putting a cream on the face. <laughs> the result, I looked Amish. Do you think Crash, if Crash existed in real life, the UN would try to put him on trial for crimes? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm gonna move my... Gonna move my monitor a little bit to the left. It's just a little too close. It's fun to do it like this. Though. It's fun. To, it's fun to do the the high spin jump. Speaking of which, I kind of wish that uh, <laughs> I kind of wish that Gangster's Paradise actually was in the Sonic movie. I mean, it was really unfitting, but I did end up associating the movie with that song, as did a lot of people, I'm sure. I mean, right now, one thing I was uh, experimenting with, though I don't think it's really gone very far, is I, I kind of wanted to grow my hair a bit. Wanted to grow my hair back a little. Grow my hair out a little bit in the back. But that's that's kind of a mullet, isn't it? But I don't know. I thought it might look nice. Thought it might look nice if a little bit of hair was visible from the back. Finally, I will stop being a Russian scientist and start being an American trucker. Oh, this, this man's throwing swords. How irresponsible. Dustin, if you don't change your name to Dustin Ray Cyrus when you do, you will fail us. You mean like on Discord or in real life? Because one of those is significantly easier to accommodate. Both. Well, well, I'm not going to do it in real life. That's just too much work. That's too much work for a funny. But I will do it on Discord. Oh, I got the crystal, yes. My time was not wasted. I wasted. You mean that disgusting slop that gives you gas? So, what level is I on? I was on 13, right? Yeah, 13. Okay, so... <clears throat> we're gonna do... We're gonna do another motorcycle level. They should've called... Oh, never mind. Okay, let's win the race. Oh, this, this level looks really nice in the remake. I like it. Okay, sorry, I'm not going to be looking at chat for a minute. Because I, I have to win the race!
Alien. Alien sign. Oh, gotta jump, gotta jump. Jumping mandatory here. There haven't been any boosts. This is a harder race, I guess. You have to win it on your wits alone. So that means I'm doomed, you understand. <laughs> oh, well, I probably lost. Eh. Oh, I've gone off-road. Oh. I have crashed and burned. You could probably dodge that ramp. Probably dodge the ramp and uh, make that boost last longer. Oh, oh. What? What? No! <laughs> the, the police have finally gotten to me. Well, I'm not winning this. Oh, but I can do this. I can do this. It's not gonna win me the race, but I it. I didn't even see that. <laughs> How did I not see that? Well, there's there's no shame in fifth fifth place, really. Speed limit 155. There, there's no shame in fifth. I'm lying. Okay, so I just remembered a secret. You may or may not see it coming. You'll never see it coming! Burp, burp. I just have to remember where it even was. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, it's a secret level. Oh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> and one I am probably not looking forward to actually doing. So, hot cocoa. Coincidentally, not terms you should enter into your browser history. Ah, so we're bomb- we're bomb weaving, are we? bombing and weaving. <laughs> uh -uh. Luckily, I think this is a level that's super easy to speedrun. Because you really... Because the obje The objective is pretty simple if you're not going for all the crates. Unfortunately for us, I am. I am going for all the crates. <laughs> no, sir, I don't like it. I love how absolutely enraged Coco gets. Can you blame her? Does Crash always get bike and Coco always get jet ski? Yes. Yes, those two are only capable of playing those respective levels. You can't get Coco to ride the bike, at least not without hacking. I mean, I'm not saying you can hack her onto the bike, but I'm saying that's the only place it's a possibility. Uh, okay. Okay. There's a shark. I'm going to hit this checkpoint.
Uh, they are not words for how much I do not like it. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh, she's dead. She's freaking dead. I, I can't get up on this ramp. But there's there's stuff over here I could probably get. Oh wait, 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 wait. I wanna go this way. I wanna go this way because then I can disable the nitro. There we go. That should make things significantly easier. Oh, I saw one under the water. So how are we doing? 43 out of 70? Mm, could be worse, could be worse. Okay, there's a crate under the water. Oh dear. I kind of want that crate, but I'm afraid of, of the bombs. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. How do I do this? Maybe I gotta chain them. How do I? How do I get beneath? Maybe. Oh, I probably gotta like hold up on the stick or something. There we go, yeah, that's that's what you do. That's how you do it. Yeah, that sounds like something that would mess you up if you were eight years old. <laughs> okay, Coco, hit the box. Hit the box, Coco. Thank you. It's all I truly desired. And <laughs> that messes you up now. But we still got more to go. Still got more crates. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that was, um... Could have been unfortunate. Oh dear, oh dear, shark, 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 coming through. Once I get to 60, that's probably a good place to hit the checkpoint. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just desensitized to all manner of atrocities. Okay, I probably shouldn't be going for this. But here we are. Okay. Did not end in complete abject terror like was possibly anticipated. Uh, I mean, I didn't die, but I also didn't do anything of particular worth, so... Let's... Let's try that again. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We got, like, four left. Four crate. To get four crate is great. Does not fill me with hate. That's a neat visual right there. Oh, okay. Oh, good thing I hit the checkpoint. Now, what am I doing here? How do I, how do I make Coco live? Not like that. Okay. 
My, my only thought is to dive under it. I don't think I can, uh, prevent her death much, much more effectively otherwise. Th this is, um, hmm. Okay, here's my new strategy. Die so many times that I get a pity mask. How? How do I how do I survive? Can can Coco like dodge out of the way midair? I think she kind of can. I am so glad that I have as many lives as I do. How do I live? Do I hold down? Can I hold down on the stick to get more air? Nope. Yeah, this one, this one's confusing me. Eh, hmm. And I don't know of any way to get rid of the bombs. Okay, I guess you can do that. Now, there were still a couple of others. A couple of. I saw them. Oh, there they are. There they are. And then I die and have to do the, the other one again. I think I may be missing one. No, no, never mind, I'm good. I'm good. Now I just need to do the time trial for this, which fortunately should be pretty easy. This one I think I will do ahead of time. Because it just, I want to I wanna be done with that. <laughs> I want to not have to do that anymore. No, come back! I don't know if there's like a quick way to get to that. Let me see. I know this opens up eventually, but apparently not now, so I may just have to take the hard way back. And I say, I say the hard way, it's not that hard. It just takes a tiny bit of doing. Yeah, really weird, like, secret exits in this game. <laughs> By our strategy guide. <laughs> Only then will you know that you have to ram into an alien sign <laughs> in order to access a level. I mean, I guess in the remake, a bird hits it. I don't know if that happened in the original. I don't think it does. Okay. Okay. So, time trial. And see this, this is easy. Because, basically the only thing stopping you from finishing the level right here is these nitro crates. Just beeline, you, you just beeline straight for the switch and then back. That's the time trial.
you're gonna wanna, of course, hit these blocks along the way. At least to the best of your ability. Let's see what we can do here. I don't trust my luck with that one. Okay, now hit the switch. I don't think I got the time, but that's okay. Okay, I didn't get that time either. But, but you know, we can use this run as reference. We can use this to determine to determine how much leeway we actually have. Okay, 45 seconds, and that's basically a bronze. I would like a gold if I could manage it. Can I retry? Can I reach? Can I please retry? No. Okay. Well, that's going to be good for now then, because I kind of don't want to do it again. I don't know if you get an easier entrance to the stage later, but for now, I'm going to work on the assumption that you do. So now let's actually play this level. <laughs> I'll probably beat this world and then end the stream. Because I, I, I don't know. I just feel like it. Okay, let's, let's see what we can do here. We'll see if we can beat the asses in a race. Yeah, there's just, there's just no use in trying to get the crates on a race-winning run. Oh, well, okay, that's that does not bode well for actually winning the race, as previously mentioned. Okay, this, this is a mandatory one. Jumping is required. I'm, on, I'm keeping an eye out for boosts, so that I can get boost power. Oh, yeah, another, like I was thinking about avoiding it, but no, you have to jump there. Oh, okay, went off-road. You can probably make that work more, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, that one you can dodge. That one you can dodge. And, you know, not die. Okay, this... Th this one's dangerous. I, yeah, I'll probably have to retry, but... The one with the police, that's, that's not one you want to probably try. Because it kind of gears you over to the, the jump. Oh, oh... <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if there... Yeah, there are brakes. So many asses in the stream, and yet you don't name the three-letter high score that... Oh, I have been displaced. Well, I mean, of course, they're asses, not me. I, I shouldn't pretend to be something that I'm not. I realize I have I have opened myself up to any sort of mean-spirited joke there, but you know what? That is just okay. Okay, just gonna weave past. Gonna do some quick drifting. You know, not make a big deal out of it. Mm, pardon me.
That guy, that guy was not in a good position for me. Oh no! Okay, okay, I'm okay. Too bad Naughty Dog abandoned this series to make Last of Us. True, but it will be carried on in the hands of another. Oh, I could have avoided it. I could have. I mean, I'm doing... I'm doing alright. Okay, police. I am not man enough to try and dodge. Oh, the ass of us. I'm sorry, I'm on a motorcycle. Oh god, oh god, no! Can I, can I do like RC? No, no, no. No, he cannot win. He cannot win. Okay, thank God. The one time we didn't hear motorcycle guy. No, he, no, he showed up. He just, uh, you just couldn't hear him because crash was motor. Oh my God. Crash. It is, it was crash the entire time. He was trying to get me to play his game. Expected you to make it this far. If you don't turn back, I will inflict a thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe. I got distracted by goats. Pretty goats. Well, there were some goats in here early. Okay, crate time. Yeah, man, I mean, Crash 3 has goats in it. Okay, got a ramp. Got a ramp. Okay, good. God, I am specifically trying to throw the race, and then there's this jerkwad. Like, son, I understand you're trying to obey the speed limit, but this is a race. Five cent soda. Wow, sign me up. <laughs> Physics, we don't need to worry about that. There, there, that is no concern of us. Of ours. The concern of us. Naughty Dog's newest game. Oh. Move it along, hippie. Oh, oh, okay, thank God. Thank God I hit that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I was so afraid I was going to miss one. Yo, and I'm passing him. This guy sucks. Uh, uh, uh. Naughty Dog's recent writing concerns me too. Yeah, I mean, personally, 
I haven't played The Last of Us either, either game. Because it's just not something that typically appeals to me. Oh, he ran over my motorcycle. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, it's just, it's just not something that really tickles my fancy. Like, if you like it, cool. I'm happy, I'm happy for you. But for me, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Okay, so I'll, I'm gonna beat this world and then we'll end the stream. So I got one more level and a boss. Double header. Yeah, I had a ROM once that had a double header. So that was why SNES 9X wouldn't run it. Wasting no time to show you what the level is named after. So this is the fabled double ass. I don't know if you can actually kill that guy, but you can knock him down. What they lack in being separated, they make up for in sheer girth. Okay, can I do it? Yes! I'm so good. So good at crash. Oh wait, he's swinging turkeys. Right? I mean, I guess it makes sense because he's a big guy. See, here's a goat. Isaac. Magical Mystery Tour. Goat. Oh, oh dear. Timed. Timed exclusive. Oh. <laughs> Which is hopefully what Crash 4 is, but I wish it wasn't even that. But I guess they just... Well, fine, if you don't want my money. I've heard Crash 4 is really good. I have heard that as well, and I am very happy about that. I, I, I freak out because the timer is ticking. It's like it's like dick, nerd, nerd, nerd. I'm like I'm like I need to get rid of it. I need to get rid of it quick. And then I just end up spinning the TNT and dying. But yeah, as soon as Crash Four comes to PC, probably like the literal day of, I I will stream it and and I will play it. Crash Four is a timed exclusive. They haven't confirmed that yet, but the writing is on the wall. Like, there was, there were strings in the webpage referring to, I think, Switch and PC. So, it's entirely likely that Crash 4 is going to come to other platforms later. Sony probably just gave Activision that sweet, sweet timed exclusive money. I mean, that's what happened with this game. Granted, I mean... The the kart racing game didn't come to PC for some reason. Did come to Switch though, but for some reason never PC. 
But I mean, honestly, I kind of have a vendetta about that game because of the microtransactions. I mean, it's a shame because it, it looks good besides that, but. Oh, not like timed exclusive like Mario 3D All-Stars, but timed exclusive as in it's not permanently an exclusive. Yes, exactly that. I have no idea. I have been turned into a frog. Um, I don't know what Nintendo's doing. Like, like that, that is legitimately baffling. Like, like, okay, some people have theorized that Mario 3D All-Stars is being taken off the market because Nintendo doesn't actually think it meets their quality standards, so they're kind of just trying to get rid of it before it leaves a lasting impact. But I don't get why Mario 35 would be a thing, like, because they don't want to keep the servers up. I mean, I can't imagine it would be that taxing, would it? Speaking of servers, uh, our technical difficulties with Smash the other night, if anybody wasn't there or wasn't paying attention or whatever, I we figured out that it's very likely that Langton's inability to join is on my end. I think my ISP changed something from under my nose. Oh. Ah, dang it. But yeah, I mean, Mario 5, as far as quality goes, Mario 5 is pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's, it's Nintendo. It's pretty Nintendo quality. You know, I, I had fun with it. Is it the ideal way to make Mario a battle royale? I don't know. Mario 5. Did I did I did I somehow not say 30? <laughs> I was going to ask you about trying out some parsec stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'd be willing to give it a try though without beating around the bush at all. Your, your connection has proven a bit troublesome in the past. Though, you, you know, living in a shared house, that's... You know, that's probably to be expected. But it's still unfortunate. Sorry, hopefully hopefully that wasn't too much personal information. I, did, I don't want to, like, accidentally dox you or anything. <laughs> so... If that bothers you, let me know, and I'll try to edit that out of the VOD. Connection Bunk is on who's hosting. Yeah, I can I can give hosting it a try. Uh, I'm first. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why <laughs> why God has forsaken me. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? I might, can I still, I don't think I can creep. Like, can I creep? I can do like a jaunty march, but I don't think I can creep. I can do this, which is almost a creep. Okay, but let's let's see. Let's 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 take an actual look at this. Let's examine. Okay, so you can't just like walk past it. That much is clear. Double jump could almost get you past it, but not really. Oh no! <laughs> Dang rounded edges. Yeah, I don't think that hitbox is as big a deal as some people say it is, but I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a problem at all. <laughs> yeah, Crash just gave up. Okay, so let's see. Um... Okay, there you go, there you go. You gotta do like a crouch jump first. Plus a double jump.
Okay, now now detonate to your heart's content, please. Okay, and the trick here, the trick here is you think, oh, I want to knock it down, but that activates the TNT. So that's a problem. So you don't actually want to do that. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you at least got to see that. It's like Bowser in Superstar Saga. He just <laughs> Bowser just cannot catch a break in that game. That's a good game. One day I will stream that too, but not yet. I'm I'm streaming a Mario RPG, but not that one. Okay, now to, for the tale of Wizard Passage. Wizard is passed. That's the, that's the tale. Oh, that didn't work. That did. Oh, <laughs> crash was never seen again. I can't talk. Langton can't type. Truly, we are all even in our own way. Oh, cool. I killed a wizard with a goat. I wish I could walk over it and wear his hat. I desire nothing more than wizard hat. How am I doing? I am missing... Oh, there's a, there's a nitro thingy. You know, the thingy. So we're doing pretty good on gems so far. On the James... You're not wrong, sometimes I skip typing words entirely. Well, just to make sure that that was entirely in jest, I didn't actually mean that. Lord knows I've been awful at typing myself. Especially when on mobile. Oh, we're fighting Dr. Entropy. Like I said, I like this guy. stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into this time you've done it i feel like you should have a mustache like like am i alone on that should should entropy have a mustache oh, you're on my time, you little skunk. Give me the his face just looks so naked So he just has a tuning fork. Oh, oh, eyebrow itchy. Okay. Oh no, he made a penis. Oh, oh dear. I didn't realize that he was going to, he was going to pull an egg viper on me. Not actually a very hard boss. Poor Entropy. Okay, so now we can got the Death Tornado spin. So we can use our spin move as a glide now. Insignificant morons! 
by defeating Enzami, you have placed us all in grave danger! <sighs> Crash, Coco, you must realize that this time twister machine is very delicate. Without Dr. Entropy's constant care and control, who knows what it will do? That's kind of weird to me, because like... Okay, they set it up like... Like, oh god, you defeated Entropy. He's gone. Um, the time machine is being... There is no maintenance being done on the time machine. Everything's gonna be bad. It's the, it's the DeLorean without Doc Brown. But, but, you know, nothing really ever comes of that. Like, they set it up like there's gonna be this huge disaster that just never quite happens. Oh, this is how you get to the room. Ha. Oh, this is for the, this is for the new level, like, future tense. That, that wasn't in the original game. So, no, I was wrong. That was, this is a new thing. I'll be playing that too, just like I did with Stormy Ascent. I'll, I'll play that too. In time. In time. Uh, but yeah, just... It's something kind of weird about Crash 3, because they kind of set up these plot threads that never really get used for anything. Like, like that I just mentioned, and also... Like, they establish that Uka Uka can take over Cortex, like can you know, attach himself to his face, kind of like Majora's Mask, and control him. But yet, they never use that for anything besides the cutscenes, like... Like, I, I don't want to spoil what the final boss is actually like, but I guess I can tell you what it isn't like. You, you'd think for the final boss they would have, like, Uka Uka taking control and you have to, like, knock him off of Corte- Oh, thank you, Crash. Thank you very much. Um, you'd think you would have to, like, knock him off of Cortex's face or something to make him vulnerable, but no, it's nothing like that. I don't know. It's just a little bit of missed potential, I feel like. Granted, Crash Bandicoot, you don't really come here for the plot, I guess. But I don't know. Maybe they'll do something cool like that, or maybe they did do something cool like that in Crash 4. If they did, please don't tell me. I don't want to know. This is my face if you try to tell me. <laughs> 